This one is about what is popularly known as the Twinkie defense. And it's worth reading up on the history of this if you're not familiar with it. But right now, these five begin with a split. Some begin with the, the participial phrase in attributing, and some begin with an if clause. In principle, both of these would be correct. But let's look a little more carefully. Attributing the participle modifies the next noun. By the modifier touch rule, the very next noun that follows this clause is the one that is doing the attributing. But the very next noun that follows are the perpetrators. Now, the perpetrators, these are the poor guys that went and they knocked off a liquor store or something like this, and now they're, they're being defended in court. They're not doing any attributing. It's the lawyers who are doing the attributing, but the lawyers are nowhere to be found in the second half of the sentence. No comment on the on the reliability of lawyers in general there, but they're just not mentioned in the second half of the sentence. And so attributing is just not correct because it does not apply to the perpetrators. So right away, all three of those are out. We have to have the if construction, which avoids imputing the attribution directly to the perpetrators. So now we have this idiom that splits the answers to attribute x to y to attribute x as the cause of y. Well, not only is the second one longer and more awkward, it also, in fact, is just outright wrong. The verb attribute takes the preposition to, so is attributed to. That is perfectly correct. Is attributed as the cause of, that is just train wreck wrong. And so immediately, we narrow everything down to answer choice B. Now, answer choice B, I'll point out, is not ideal. It has this, this phrase, an allergy to some food. And it would be briefer to say some food allergy. So notice that the correct answer is not always the best, most perfect, most ideal answer. It is just the best of the five. And here B is very clearly the strongest of the five answer choices.